Hi everyone and welcome to my Deus Ex Mankind Divided Permadeath Walkthrough. This is uh, mission 10 and this is an interesting mission. We're gonna meet Chanus, which is the new uh, quote-unquote deep throat in, in this game. You know, the, the kind of... Uh, how can I say it? The kind of mysterious uh, only virtual contact uh, that we have. Uh, it, it, this was always a staple in Deus Ex games, though it was much more interesting with Helios in Deus Ex 1. Uh, because Helios has a really great story that goes right to the end when you have to choose an ending in that game. Oh my god, I just fucking love Deus Ex so much. The, the first one, I mean. And this one too, and Human Revolution uh, too. I think if I, if I would have to compare them, like, I will straight up say that uh, Deus Ex 1 is the best one, then Human Revolution, then this one. Like, <laughs> exactly like that. And if you're wondering if, if there is another uh, Deus Ex before Human Revolution, yes, there was. It's, it was called Invisible War. Uh, we don't like to talk about it. Oh, this technique is really nice. Uh, you're gonna see it in a minute. I, I discovered it by, uh, like, accident, and I think it's really nice. But, yeah, um, this place is gonna... I'm, I'm sorry, I was talking about Invisible War. Well, Invisible War was kind of like a crappy Deus Ex. It was, it's not really that nice. It, it's not terrible. It's not fucking terrible. But, you know, when something like Deus Ex, Deus Ex comes out and, and you have a, a sequel and the sequel kind of goes nowhere you, you people got really personal about invisible war so we pretend that it like it, if it doesn't exist right but let's talk about this level because things are going to start getting interesting from this point on now you're gonna see me accommodating a lot of crates here and this is on purpose because I realized for some reason now don't explain me why maybe Square Enix can explain me why Every time that I wanted to exit this whole area in the hole that is right there Not not that one the hole that is to my back now the, the hole from uh, where the robots are gonna co are gonna come The robots always detected me, but I did no noise when landing or stuff like that But they always detected me so I started thinking okay this is an exit Adam, that is compromised. I cannot exit I this way. So I'm gonna make another exit. So here you, go, yes, you, you already saw me accommodating all those crates. Those are for a reason because there are mines in the doors and the mines can potentially kill me. That's one of the things that can potentially kill me in a permadeath. But look at what's gonna happen with, with how I accommodated the crates. I know that the mines, the three mines that are in the exit door, the first exit door, are the, the ones that can one-shot me. Because of course I, I, I tried this a lot, right? And I'm gonna just wait until that fucking uh, idiot goes away. I, I accommodated those grids there because they usually see you really, really f from far away. They are like really sensitive, they, they see you automatically and trigger an alarm, and those grids confuse them. So that, that's, why, that's why those crates are there. Those crates are there for me to be able to get to the lasers without seeing, without them seeing me. Because it doesn't matter if, if, if they are uh, too low or too high in the air. If they are looking into your general direction, the alarm will trigger in seconds. So that's why those are there. And look at what's going to happen with the, those lasers in the door. With that crate. I was, watch at that crate. I'm going to push it. What's that? No damage. Did you see that? Like three, three mines, at least three or four uh, mines that were in the door exploded and I got no damage, zero damage from it. I'm supposed to die if I do that. And did you saw the alarm? I triggered no alarm. And the game is like, it went into suspicious for a moment and immediately went back to normal. And that is, yes, that's a mine exploding far into the into the um, wall, excuse me. 
but since the mine is far away uh, in the wall, it, when it explodes, it, it, it damaged me, but very little. Like, look at how much it damaged me, like, like one quarter of my full life. So that's it. That's the entire mission, guys. Really simple, but this took a while to figure it out because, again, the fucking flying robots were always, always detecting me when I was trying to exit through the Mr. hole Jensen, in the ground no and I don't know why I don't know why Please, but I, I devised this strategy I and I hope it can help you too if you're trying to do this so thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next mission take care